hey and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel hi and welcome so today i wanted to show you how i created this shelf window so if you want to see how i created this then stick around So to start off, I am taking this window that I got from Michaels. I got it for $13. The original price was $44.99. And I'm just taking the clips off and the paper off. Everything else, I'm leaving on. Then once that's done, I wanted to give this more support. So I went ahead and I cut some sticks from scrap pieces of wood that I had. I cut them down to size, cut them down to size to fit around my um, frame my window and I use my fabric measuring tape I always do and I'm showing you here how I measure the middle well the shorter sticks um, just to frame this out to give it more support and then I'm going to go ahead and add some wood glue and also I add nails so everything in this video that you see me glue with wood glue onto this window I added nails I didn't continue to re record because um, that would have been really really long And if you're curious as to why you're seeing the side of my stomach, my side, um, I was out this day and I had went to the store and I had, it was hot outside. And so I had this cute little bralette thing on and I was trying to be cute. And um, I forgot when I started recording and I had already recorded, I didn't want to delete because I couldn't take all this stuff off of here <laughs> once I started recording. So I grabbed one of my son's old shirts and I tucked it in the side of my bra, not realizing that my sides were still showing, but I do com completely cover up eventually. Just wait. So once all the nails was in, I'm just showing you here that it's, it's really good. It's glued, it's nailed, it's not coming apart. So next I created these little brackets or corbels, whatever you want to call them. If you want a um, detailed video how I made these, let me know down below. And I would definitely, if I get enough people that want to see it, I'll make a short video. And when I once I got done making them, I went ahead and glued them down using some wood glue again. And see now I got clothes on. You can't see my stomach no more. I'm fully dressed. Next, I am taking some craft board. It's three pieces of craft board I got from Lowe's. They was, we gonna say $3. And these are what I'm gonna be using to create my shelf for my shelf window. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure this and cut this down because it was a little too long. And I used three pieces. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just start gluing all three pieces to my window. Um, I made sure that the, glue, that the wood was touching that extra um, piece of wood I placed on the back and I'm gonna go ahead and just glue all three pieces and again I'm gonna add nails to everything 
and i'll be honest i didn't let anything completely dry in this video video the nails what is what saved this from falling apart into the wood glue completely dried but it's completely dry now and it is good so once that i did that took another piece of scrap wood measured it once for the middle to fit glued it nailed it down because i wanted to give it some more support and here i am using my favorite stain my dark walnut stain i love this stain everything in my house is stained with this stain if i stain anything So once I let this somewhat dry, <laughs> I went ahead and I took some ivory colored chalk paint and I dry brushed the whole thing to my liking. Once again, I always tell you do stuff to what you like. Then after that was done, I went ahead and I did, did sand this down because I wanted some of that original wood to show through because I want to make it look, you know, old, rustic, antique, vintage, all that stuff. So yeah. So next, I was at Hobby Lobby and I seen this in a clearance section. It was $5.49. The original price was $21.99. I do not know why. It's just a piece of wood with knobs on it. But anyway, so I pre-drilled some holes. Now, the original screws that came with this sign, or whatever you want to call it, they were short. They were shorter than what I needed. So I took, I found some longer screws on old knobs that I had. And um, I put them on here, but they was too small. So weird, but they was too small. So I took pieces of paper towel and I like put it on the screws and pinched it all around the screw. And then I twisted on my knobs. I hope all of that made sense. But that's what I did and it worked great. I was gonna add some glue, I'm like, no, ain't no glue gonna work. So this worked and it is perfect. And that was it for this video. Let me know down below, would you ever recreate anything like this to just give you any ideas for pieces you already have in your home? And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. This is how it turned out. I have it hanging up on a wall and I threw some decor on here just to show you how it would look if you hung this up. Turned out nice. If you are new to this channel and you like these type of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell. So you will be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching and bye.